for suspending our own legislatures and declaring themselves invested with power to legislate for us in all cases whatsoever. He has abdicated government here by declaring us out of his protection and waging war against us. He has plundered our seas, ravaged our coast, burnt our towns, and destroyed the lives of our people. He is at this time transporting large armies of foreign mercenaries to complete the works of death, desolation, and tyranny already begun with circumstances and cruelty and perfidy scarcely paralleled in the most barbarous ages and totally unworthy the head of a civilized nation. He has constrained our fellow citizens, then captive on the high seas, to bear arms against their own country, to become executioners of their friends and brethren, or to fall themselves by their own hands. He has excited domestic insurrections among us and has endeavored to bring on the inhabitants of our frontiers the merciless Indians whose known rule of warfare is the undistinguishable destruction of all ages, sexes, and conditions. In every stage of these oppressions, we have petitioned for redress in the most humble terms. Our repeated petitions have been answered only by repeated injury. A prince whose character is thus marked by every act which may define a tyrant is unfit to be the ruler of a free people. We therefore the representatives of the United States of America in general congress assembled appealing to the supreme judge of the world for the rectitude of our intentions do in the name and by authority of the good people of these colonies solemnly publish and declare that these united colonies are and of right ought to be free and independent states. Yeah. That they are absolved from all allegiance to the British Crown and that all political connection between them and the state of Great Britain is and ought to be totally dissolved and that as free and independent states they have full power to levy war, conclude peace, contract alliances, establish commerce, and do all other acts and things which independent states might of right to do. And for the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. Fellow citizens, this is our legacy. This is our heritage. This is our national birth certificate. And this represents our freedom. Never forget. Let's say it three times if you would, please. Never forget. Never forget. Never forget. And let's give a round of applause to all the founding fathers and all who have sacrificed so that we could be here today. And a round of applause to our uh, drummer boy, Luke, for a fine job.
Thank you for being here, and God bless America.